What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Harvest Tech and today we will be doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two very powerful flagship phones. So in the first corner that we have here, I do have the Honor Magic 6 Pro, the latest and greatest and it is going up against the Galaxy S24 Ultra, one of the best flagship phones in 2024. So before we start anything, let's check out the temperatures here. And for the S24 Ultra, 33.4 and for the Magic 6 Pro, it's actually quite low so it's unable to record that. And of course, we have an eco ladder on the back up against a glass on the S24 Ultra. And what we like to do at the start is of course to boot up these two phones and see which one will come out on top. Naturally, normally the Galaxy phones do have a slower boot up compared to many other phones. Let's see over here up against the Magic 6 Pro if it can beat it. And of course, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% and both are using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor in today's video. And as you can see there, it's actually quite close between these two. I would say maybe the Magic 6 Pro is just slightly ahead of the S24 Ultra. So for the settings that I have done for you guys, I'm going to show you that I have actually enabled the full brightness on both of these two phones. And again, like I mentioned, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% for this video. So as you can see here, both of these two phones have been connected to the same Wi-Fi connection and also Bluetooth and everything else is all turned off. Every of the other settings are all disabled as well on both of these two phones. And also again, just to show you guys that all apps have been closed before we start any of this test right here. And as you can see there, it's all cleared up. And right now, what we are going to do is of course check out the temperatures once these phones are all booted up. So with the Magic 6 Pro, it's still very low. And for the S24 Ultra, it's coming in at about 36.1 degrees. So now these are the apps that we are going to test out right here. So first thing first, let's go with Genshin Impact and see which one would actually come out on top. All right, it looks pretty knack knack on both of these two phones. Maybe the S24 Ultra does have a very slight lead over the Magic 6 Pro. And now let's move on to the next app, which is Pokemon Go. And here we do see that the Magic 6 Pro is actually getting a slight lead over the S24 Ultra. And let's just give it some more time. And yes, the Magic 6 Pro does pull ahead of the S24 Ultra. Next up here, YouTube. And it looks like the Magic 6 Pro again has a slight lead. And going on to Instagram, about pretty close here. I would say maybe the S24 Ultra, just a very slight lead. And next up, another huge app over here, which is PUBG Mobile. And let's see which one here would come out on top. It looks like the 6 Pro is actually having a slight lead over the S24 Ultra. Both of these two phones have been updated to the latest software prior to this video. And as we can see there, it does have a very, very close battle. I think the 6 Pro is just slightly ahead. And now let's move on to the next one here, which is the Google Chrome. Of course, uh, yes, there's something to load here with the S24 Ultra. And let's go on to the Facebook app. Pretty much the same. I think the S24 Ultra was just slightly ahead. Now let's go on to Shopee. I think both of them, I think the 6 Pro is just slightly ahead. Going on to YouTube Music, pretty much the same here. Going on to Settings, again, pretty much the same. Manchester United app, and the 6 Pro does pull ahead over here, just a slight lead over the S24 Ultra. Let's go on to the Premier League app. Pretty much the same, I would say. And of course, going on to Netflix, as we can see here, clear winner by the Magic 6 Pro. And then now let's go on to the camera app over here. I think it's about the same on both of these two phones. And we're gonna do some snapshots over here. Let me just switch it on to the front camera. One, two, three, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Both of them very fast and responsive. And next up we have TikTok, which is something wrong on my S24 Ultra. But I think the boot up is about the same on both of them. Let's go to Twitter or X. Let me try that again. Let's just turn this off and go on and it's about the same on both of these two phones let's go on to play store here again about the same on both phones and that's what you would get so right now let's check out the temperatures here with the magic 6 pro it is at about 32.6 only and let's go on to the s24 ultra which is at about 36.4 so it's a still a very normal temperature here and also one more thing about the temperature is that it could be because of the back 
So let's do a RAM test here. Both phones still holding up pretty well. Let's go on to another app, which is YouTube. And again, no refreshes there so far. Let's go on to Manchester United. A refresh here on the S24 Ultra. And now let's go on to Twitter or X and no refreshes there. Let's go to another app, Google Chrome. Both of them holding up pretty well. And also we do have Twitter here, which I mean Instagram, which right. All right, so now I'm gonna do a GPU test over here. I'm gonna use InShot and this part here, I'm gonna export this into 4K at 30 FPS. And let's see which one would come out on top. So one, two, three, let's go. And see, it looks like both of them are actually very, very fast. And it's gonna be a very close battle over here. I think the S24 Ultra was just slightly ahead of the Magic 6 Pro. Okay, so next up here, we're gonna do another test, which of course is the Geekbench test. So this one here will test out to the maximum on both of these two phones. And as we can see here from the history, I've done some videos also with the S24 Ultra. So we get pretty good scores over there on the S24 Ultra. Not so much when it comes to the Magic 6 Pro, but now let's just run this CPU benchmark over here. Before we do that, temperature wise, it is at about 35.7. And on the S24 Ultra, it is at about 35.9 so still all very normal temperatures over here and also one more thing to note is that the battery on both these two phones have dropped already so one two three let's go and i'll see you guys at the end of course when we do get the results Okay, so we are done with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, a single core score of 2,195, almost 2,002, multi-core score here of about 6,600, which is still very, very good for a lot of your Android phones. And of course, if we go on to the other scores that we have gotten here so far, you can see the comparisons between other phones and the multi-core score here as well. So you can see that it's performing much better than many other Android phones. And of course, if we go on to the history, you can see that the readings are about the same as we have gotten from previous tests. So it still remains pretty consistent at about the 2000 mark. And of course, the multi-core score is also at about the 6000 mark. So it's still all very consistent. Let's just give some time for the Magic 6 Pro here to finish up. So as we can see there, it does take a little bit more time for the Magic 6 Pro to complete this Geekbench test compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's almost done at about the 93% mark. And now let's just give it a little bit more time right here. Temperature wise on the S24 Ultra is at about the 36.6 degrees and we are done. So you can see here the scores are very, very different. Single core score of only 1,300 and also a multi-core score much lower, about the same as with the S24 Ultra. And here you can see that we have done the test previously and it's about the same results there. And also temperature wise, let's check it out. It's at about 36.2. And now, right now, let's do a CPU benchmark on both of these two phones right here. Sorry, let's go on to the GPU test on both of these two phones. And again, I'll see you guys at the end when we get the results. All right, so we are done again with the S24 Ultra ahead of the Magic 6 Pro. Massive score of 15,000 compared to the 13,000, almost the 14,000 on the Magic 6 Pro. Temperature-wise is at about 36.2. And again, on the S24 Ultra, let's check this out, at about 36.6. So not a lot of difference. Both of these two phones, not too hot, but still pretty warm on them. And now let's move on to the next test. Okay, so for our next test over here, we're going to do a 3D mark test and we're going to start off with the wildlife. So again, we're going to run this test and I'll see you guys when we get the results. Okay, so we are done here with the S24 Ultra on Max Down and also the Magic 6 Pro. These are the ratings and readings that you want to see. Battery wise at 95, here at 96, so still very, very similar over here. I think when it comes to FPS as well, it's better. And also I think better on the 6 Pro. And now let's move on to the next test here, which is the Solar Bay, which is a new thing on the 3D mark here. 
and let's just run this thing one two three let's go again i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results okay so we are done with the s24 ultra a little bit ahead but in terms of score nicer on the magic 6 pro and also if we look at the fps at different sections as well it looks like the 6 pro is actually outperforming the s24 ultra temperature wise let's see here very very hot 36.9 especially hot on the frames on the s24 ultra 37.2 so both getting really really hot here and lastly we're going to do the slingshot test on both of these two phones so one two three let's go and again i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the final results Okay, so we are done with the S24 Ultra just ahead of the Magic 6 Pro. These are the graphic test scores, the FPS that you guys want to see on both of these two phones. So they are very, very similar to each other. And also if we look at the graphs here as well, very similar pattern on both of these two phones. Battery wise on the Magic 6 Pro is 92 and on the S24 Ultra as well, 92%. So we can see that although it has the bigger battery, the capacity is about the same when it comes to performance and temperature wise, let's see here, 37.8. So better management on the S24 Ultra that could contribute slightly towards the battery performance because these are all the tests and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the results over here. Is it fair or not? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, click the like and smash the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.